hi guys welcome back to our channel if you're an old subscriber you're welcome and if you're a new subscriber you're welcome thank you for joining the family and if you're just watching my video you've not subscribed what are you waiting for what are you waiting for hit the subscribe button like comment and share and do not forget to hit the notification bell so that anytime we post a video you will be the first to see it so in today's video i'm going to teach you guys how to cook simple chinese special rice like simple guys you can see my ingredients here there is no serere no plenty serere just with few ingredients and trust me guys it's going to be very nice trust me my family love it and i know your family will love it as well it's really delicious so these are my ingredients for today's recipe i have my carrot here my chopped carrot i have my eggs i have four eggs you can use three eggs and this is my chicken this is my boneless chicken it's diced already as you can see and also that is my beef usually is pork they use pork meat for this recipe but i don't like pork i really don't like pork so i rather rather i went for this uh beef yes but if you're a pork lover that's trust me that's the best one to use for this recipe so what i'm going to do i'm going to marinate my beef i also have my soy sauce yeah i have to you have to combine this to while cooking this recipe you have to combine your dark soy sauce that's this one is my light soy sauce and you're going to combine the light soy sauce with the dark soy sauce as you can see here yeah, that's the it is written on it light soy sauce and this other one is dark soy sauce so that one is the one i've been using it's almost finished i'm just going to use the remaining one for today so you can see my chopped onions and my spring onion and that little side by the plate i have my diced garlic but if you don't like garlic you can omit it yes you can omit it and this is my chopped carrot as you can see i'm going to be using four eggs for this recipe but you can use three four five depending on what you want and that's my black pepper so this is just the basic basic ingredient for this and that's my basmatic rice guys it's good to use basmatic rice for this recipe. I think it's actually the best, yes. I have three cups there, and that three cups will be enough for my family of six, yes, because it's going to rise, guys, and it's kind of going to double in size. So, guys, I'm going to marinate my boneless chicken with a dark soy sauce and also marinate my beef with a dark soy sauce. I'm going to add two tablespoons depending on your your chicken size you can see the one i have is not really that much so i'm actually going to marinate it with just two tablespoons i will do the same to my beef in case it's not enough maybe your beef is much and your chicken is much as well you can add but don't add too many because it's kind of salty don't add too much then you mix together. Mix the beef as well. Mix it very well until it is well mixed. That's how yours should be. That's how it should look like as well. So I'll just go ahead and bring a plate and cover it so I can marinate it for 30 minutes. So guys, 
as I'm marinating my beef and my boneless chicken, I'll just go ahead to parboil my rice, my basmati rice, with salt. And make sure not to add too much water because this rice cooks really fast. So I'll just go ahead and do that before I will start preparing my Chinese special rice. These are my eggs and I'm just going to wash them. I'll just check on my rice to see if it's almost cooked. And I'll start breaking my eggs one by one. I'm just going to add my black pepper, just little of it. But you can add as many as you want. Me, I love pepper, so <laughs> I'm going to add according to my taste, yes. I'm just going ahead and add my, my salt. Just add little of it to the egg. Guys, I'm really sorry about my voice that I'm actually talking like this. I have cut and cough. Yes, I have cold and it's really disturbing me. So, as you can see, I'm mixing my eggs together right now. I'm mixing together because I'm about to fry scrambled eggs. Mix it very well to make sure that your salt is not on one side and your black pepper is not on the other side. Mix it very well. Just going to check on my rice to see if it's ready. So this is my rice. I've parboiled it already with my salt. It's ready. So I'll just go ahead right now, guys, to scramble my eggs. So what I would do is, in case you don't know how to scramble your eggs, you don't have to fry it like normal egg that you fry. So just put a little oil. I'm going to add one teaspoon, one tablespoon, sorry, of oil into my frying pan and depending on the kind of depending on the amount of eggs you are using like i said before you can add more if your eggs are more than mine because i'm using just four eggs so i'm going to add another one making it two tablespoon and then allow it to hot for a little bit And once I'm sure that my fry pan is ready, my oil is hot enough for me to add in my eggs, I'll just go ahead and add my eggs and start scrambling. Like, I will not allow it to settle down and get fried, no. Immediately I add it, from there I will start mixing it so that I can scramble my eggs. Guys, this meal is really very simple. It's what you can make on a Saturday morning or Sunday afternoon or evening when you're back from church for your family. It's really easy to make and trust me, your family is going to love it because my family, they love it so much. Like, they're always, my kids, they're always begging me to prepare this Chinese uh, special rice for them. They love it so much and... I think your family or your kids are going to love it as well. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and add more oil because as you can see, my oil is not enough. That's what I'm adding. And this is my scrambled eggs. As you can see, I'm done with my scrambled egg. Easy. Is that easy, guys? Yes doesn't take time at all you see this is how yours should look like as well and this is my boneless chicken i marinated it for 
30 minutes it's 30 minutes already so i'm just going to start frying them now and this is my marinated beef so i will just go ahead and add more oil to my frying pan because the one i added the last time i've used it to fry my egg my eggs So I added two tablespoons of oil to my fry pan and I'm about to fry my boneless chicken. Make sure your oil is hot, guys, before you put in your boneless chicken to fry. So I'll just go ahead and add just if you can even omit this salt, I guess it will be better because so that it will not be that salty because I'm still going to add my soy, my dark soy sauce and my light soy sauce to this mixture. And it has a lot of salt in it already, guys. So if you can actually omit the salt, I would say just omit it. But if you really want to add just little of it, just pinch, a pinch of salt is okay, and add your black peppers to your taste. And then just mix together, mix it very well and allow it to fry. As you can see my boneless chicken is fried already so what i will do i will just repeat the same steps again i'll add in my oil and i'm just going to repeat the same step for my beef in frying my beef this is my beef and i'm just going to repeat the same step So this is it guys, it's almost ready. I'm just going to add my boneless chicken that I fried to my beef that is still on the fire. I mix it thoroughly. I just added my onion. I'm going to add remaining onion. And my diced garlic, very little of it. And then I, I will just add my chopped carrots. Guys, you can use as many as you want. If you want it small, if you want it more than my own, if you want just like my own, just depending on how many cup of rice you are cooking, you can use as many ingredients as you want. Just mix it thoroughly. So, guys, as you can see, my fry pan is really very small. So, I'm just going to divide it into two so that I can fry it separately. Because by the time I add my rice, it's just going to be too much for this fry pan. If you are, if you are preparing this recipe, I would advise you just go for a bigger fry pan. My bigger fry pan is bad, so that's why I'm using this small one. I added my rice, I mixed it, and then I went ahead to add my spring onion, but I did not finish it. That's because I still have leftover uh, uh, my, uh, beef sauce already, as you can see it on the plate, and my scrambled eggs as well. I still did not add everything because I had to 
add it together when I'm frying the second part of my rice. So I just went ahead to add my dark soya sauce as you can see. I just added two tablespoons of dark soy sauce. And I'm going to add one tablespoon of the light soy sauce. And mix it thoroughly, mix it very well so that um, the dark and the light soy sauce can distribute around your rice. Exactly, just like this. Mm, it's looking yummy already, guys. Mm, can you see it? The aroma is everywhere, everywhere in my kitchen. It really smells nice. And my Chinese special rice is red. <laughs> guys as you can see me and my family were enjoying our meal try this recipe for your family as well and if this is the kind of videos you love give us a thumbs up subscribe and do not forget to hit the notification bell so that anytime we post a video you will be the first to watch it thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed yourself see you guys in our next video bye